making the fish was really cool. These again, these are made out of silicone caulk, like the same stuff that you would use around your bathtub. And so I bought a toy fish, just a, a junky toy fish, made a mold of it, and then took layers of silicone caulk, tinted it with acrylic paint, slathered it into the mold, and then added wire so it'd be bendable. Because when these things dry, they actually curl and stuff. They get these weird shapes. And so the wire makes it so it can be posed. And uh, so that's one of my favorite props. And then related to that is the mechanical fish. I love the mechanical fish because it's um, something that, you know, it, it moves a little bit. So the idea was that this could be just down underneath the water moving around. And I think Ben really ended up shooting it the way it's really designed to be just sort of seen really quickly. It's not something you're supposed to dwell on. But it's a really super soft silicone. This is not silicone caulk. And what's cool about it is all the fins are made out of acetate, just printed out on the... I, I did something in Photoshop, did a painting of a fish in Photoshop, printed it out on acetate, and then set that into the silicone and added a little bit of silicone caulk for texture. And uh, it gives a really pretty convincing um, fin. And it's nice and translucent. You can see color through it and they're relatively durable. And then the eyes are made in a similar way. They're just printed out on acetate and then coated with a layer of epoxy. And uh, they're backed with bright aluminum foil tape to give them that metallic gleam. And, uh, and then this mechanism is very simple. It's just a wire that pushes down through the whole shaft and moves a little thing. It's kind of like a windshield wiper. And when you really get it going, it, it moves the fish pretty good. So that is another favorite favorite.